Welcome back, folks. If you enjoyed that opening animation, make sure to head on over to the Tiberius Maximus YouTube channel and subscribe. He does some really high quality political cartoons that are worth checking out. If you'd like me to give your channel or website a shout out, simply make a purchase on ribt.com forward slash drone tech and make sure to use the promo code drone tech to save 20% off most items. Send me the proof of purchase and I'll give you a shout out. Thanks. As much as I would love to move on from this unmonetizable topic, I couldn't pass this up. CNN hosted a panel of Republican women to try and pressure them to call Trump's tweets the big R word, but things didn't go quite as they had planned. How many of you don't think what the president said was racist? Raise your hand. These eight Republican women from Dallas don't see anything wrong with President Trump telling four Democratic Congresswomen to go back where they came from. Let me just share with you the definition of racism from Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A belief that race is the primary determinant of human traits and capacities and that racial differences produce an inherent superiority of a particular race. Based on that definition, do you not think what the president has been saying to these no, people? I love how she reads off the definition of racism and exposes that it has nothing to do with what Trump said, yet carries on like it perfectly describes exactly what he did. Racism is the belief that your skin color makes you superior or other groups inferior. Trump told a bunch of extreme left-wing congresswomen that if they didn't like this country, they were free to go to another one. He never said, go back where you came from, like the CNN host claims, but rather just if you don't like it here, you can go somewhere else. While you could argue that it was xenophobic or bigoted, it simply doesn't fit the definition of racism. And quite frankly, I'm tired of all the labels. It seems like the left comes up short when it comes to convincing arguments, but boy do they have a long list of labels that they'll attach to you in an attempt to invalidate your convincing arguments. That is in fact a big part of what's going on here. The left and their media have been using these labels to such a degree that they've completely lost their meaning. Anybody who's in opposition to the left or the Democrats knows that they'll be held to different standards for the purposes of political expediency by the DNC media. For a long time, we played along because we're the good guys and we just assumed that we all had the same goals and aspirations for this country. But it turns out that there's two very different Americas forming and playing along with their games is only hurting our side. A great example of these double standards being used as a political weapon by the Democrats and their media are the detention centers and deportations. Right now in the media, reports of deportations are covered as if brown shirts are rounding people up and putting them into Nazi camps. However, all of these same things were going on under Obama and actually in much greater numbers, but without any of this hysteria. These congressmen, these congressmen who said they ran for Congress, ran for office because they explicitly love this country, you're saying that's a lie. So yes. Say. Yeah. You're, You're saying they hate this country. Yes. Oh, no, what a surprise. The DNC operative pretending to be a reporter is defending the Democrats. While there's plenty of material to go after the so-called squad with, CNN prefers to just bury that and focus all attention on attacking their political opposition and Donald Trump and the GOP. Notice how these women simply aren't buying it and this CNN host just keeps trying to make the sale instead of just dealing with the facts at hand. One of the most glaring facts being that Trump's tweet simply doesn't meet the definition of racism. I haven't seen CNN or any other media outlet call Kamala Harris a racist for telling Trump to go back where he came from. Because of course, as we know, it's always different when Democrats do it. Like when AOC called Nancy Pelosi a racist. CNN and the other media outlets certainly weren't out there agreeing with AOC and attaching the label of racist to Nancy Pelosi. And if you remember, Trump was actually out there defending Nancy Pelosi against the charge. Tactic. Because when you say, you know, don't you think he's racist? You're accusing us. You're accusing him. I'm but asking. I'm not accusing. <clears throat> I'm asking you what but you, you think. Why do you keep bringing it up? Do you think it's just a coincidence that yes. these four congresswomen that the president is going after, none of them are white? Yes, these four they're are going after him. him. Perhaps it has something to do with inciting terrorist attacks on ICE facilities and then refusing to denounce it. Antifa firebombed a facility in Tacoma over the weekend. It's an ICE facility. Will you condemn them for that? Should more people do it? It's easy to say no. Will you condemn Antifa for the attack in Washington? It's easy to condemn a terrorist attack. Do you condemn Antifa for their violent actions against American law enforcement? Okay, so now you're getting in the way of me walking, so I'm asking you to please back up. 
Just look at how completely rude they are to this reporter who's asking them some tough questions because they're simply not used to that. And what they are used to is the media coddling them and attacking anybody who's critical of them. Just look at that face. It's the face of partisan hatred and anger that her tactics were just exposed. These women rightly called out CNN's attempt to paint all Trump supporters as racist by pressuring them to accept CNN's deceptive narrative. This is the result of using the R word far too much and far too often as a political weapon. I've often equated the way the left uses the R word to what happened during the Salem witch trials. They've accused so many people of being witches at this point that it's just become unbelievable. I wish that there was a white one that they, they, um, why are they not racist? How come they haven't befriended one of their white female congresswoman colleagues and Correct. let her join Because they won't. That's a good point. They right. don't like white people. Now that was a damn good point. A point that went completely unanswered by this Democrat operative host who suddenly lost the urge to defend her favorite anti-American squad. Imagine for a minute that the squad consisted of white Republican women. There's no doubt that CNN would be asking them, where are all the women of color? But of course, this standard is only applied one way when it comes to skin color. And again, this is why this tactic isn't working anymore. On the left and in the Democrat party, they don't expect a group like this to include white women because white people aren't popular in the Democrat party. Party. The bedrock of the modern Democrat Party is that white people are the source of all that is gross and evil in this world. And my job is to shut other white people down when they want to interrupt. <laughs> my job is to shut other white people down when they want to say, oh no, I'm not prejudiced. I'm seriously amazed that CNN even allowed this to air, although I suppose they'll just use it to continue saying that Republicans are racist let them. They've been doing it for years anyway. I'm betting that a growing majority of Americans simply aren't playing this game anymore and this entire episode is going to backfire really badly on the Democrats and their media. Who knows, maybe Trump really is playing interdimensional 4D chess. That's all I got for you today. Make sure to drop a flying elbow right onto that like button and the notification bell. While my channel has been remonetized, they're still demonetizing every video I upload. If you enjoy my content and you agree with my mission, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or subscribe star. You can also send me a donation on PayPal and I appreciate it. Keep coming back folks. I have something really big planned for August the 1st that I think you're going to like.